Well, the axe is very much a sort of fusion between a drone and a fixed wing aircraft. And in order to get the central gravity between all four rotors, which is desirable, obviously, for hovering, um, that lends itself to an aer aerodynamic layout, which is a, a canard type. Uh, so the central gravity is uh, right on the, uh, on the pilot's hips, really. So it doesn't matter whether you've got one or two pilots or no pilots, it will fly just the same. Then, in order to create a stable aerodynamic layout, um, you need the front wing to be working at a higher lift coefficient, doing more work than the rear wing. And uh, with a canard layout, that means that as you approach a high angle of attack, um, the foreplane stalls first and it loses lift, nose drops and then um, the aircraft gains speed again, the angle of attack reduces, so the, the main wing never stalls. The, the canard is set up with a bit of dihedral which helps the propeller um, ground clearance and also there's a slight amount of dihedral on the motor pylons as well um, and that increases the ground clearance as well as tending to uh, move the downwash from the rotors further outboard which helps to increase the effective span. Um, it's uh, designed to be uh, quite stable on the ground so the, the track is about as wide as we can cope with um, considering a, um, an eight-foot in old, old money um, track for ground transport. The wing mounting is really uh, taking uh, its, its cues from well-established uh, glider design. Um, what happens is that each wing has a main spar takes the bending loads and the right hand wings, the, the spar is further forwards than on the left hand side. So spars come together like this in the fuselage. Although they're nice and straight, they're offset one to the other. Then the bending load is taken by a pair of pins which connect the two spars together like that. But the spar actually just floats inside the fuselage doesn't pick up any load into the fuselage. That's done by a pair of uh, wing root pins on the wing root ribs. And um, these pins take the lift load, that's the shear, and the, and the torsion um, from the wings into the fuselage. Well, um, the um, span of the aircraft is kept um, it's all kept as compact as possible, really, commensurate with having uh, good aerodynamic performance, because, um, as, as is well known, a high aspect ratio, long, thin wing, gives you a, a, a better glide, but it also gets heavier and heavier. So the shorter span uh, gives reasonable glide performance, um, but it keeps the whole structure quite rigid and at quite a low weight as well. So that's the compromise that we have to take. The, um, the spars um, are a tubular carbon spar to mount the motor and then that runs into um, a carbon fibre uh, unidirectional spar cap top and bottom that then um, runs into the fuselage and, and has this uh, carry-through joint.